Ulnar claw hand. Ulnar claw hand is an abnormal hand position that develops due to lower ulnar nerve lesion below the elbow and typically causes flexion and clawing of the fourth and fifth fingers due to unopposed action of the ulnar part of the flexor digitorum profundus muscle. Clawing is seen when the patient is asked to extend the fingers. The hand in the under claw position will have the fourth and fifth fingers extended at the metacarbophalangeal joints and flexed at the IP joints. Why does clawing occur in under claw hand? Injury to the under nerve at the rest or below the elbow will lead to loss of function of the under two lumbricals and all the interosseous muscles. All are supplied by the under nerve. The ulnar nerve also innervates the ulnar half of the flexor digitorum profundus muscle. In low ulnar nerve injury, which is below the elbow, the profundus muscle will be working, flexing the fingers, but the intrinsics, the interosseae and the lumbricals will not be working. With dysfunction of the intrinsics, the extensor digitorum is unopposed, causing hyperextension of the fourth and fifth digits at the metacarbophalangeal joints. At the interpharyngeal joints, the extensor digitorum has to overcome and counteract the flexion force that's exerted by the functional flexor digitorum profundus. Clearly, the extensor digitorum cannot do this because there is no assistance from the lumbricals or the interosseae muscles, and then clawing of the fingers will show up. The net result is clawing of the fourth and fifth fingers with hyperextension of the MCP joints and flexion of the PIP and DIP joints. The second and the third digits are mainly unaffected by this injury. However, the fourth and fifth fingers, the ulnar digits, are largely affected by this low injury to the ulnar nerve. The features of the low ulnar nerve injury will only be seen in the fourth and the fifth fingers, the ulnar digits. Ulnar nerve, ulnar digits. The index and the middle fingers are supplied by the median nerve for the intrinsics, the lumbricals. And these lumbricals are working. These lumbricals balance the function of the flexor digitorum profundus, so clawing will not occur in the index and the middle fingers. In this distal lesion, the sensation at the dorsum of the fourth and fifth fingers will be intact because the dorsal sensory nerve will be spared, especially if the lesion is at the rest. If the lesion of the under nerve is high and the flexor digitorum profundus is not working, then there will be no clawing of the fingers. In a low under nerve lesion, there is one bad thing and one good thing. In a high under nerve lesion, there is one bad thing and one good thing. The bad thing in a low lesion is the clawing, but the good thing you have sensation in the dorsum of the fourth and fifth fingers. In a high lesion of the under nerve, you have one bad, you have no sensation at the dorsum of the hand. But the good thing is, you don't have a clawing. Don't take that literally. This is just to help you to memorize the pathological differences. An under claw hand is different than intrinsic minus hand, which sometimes is called claw hand. 
In the intrinsic minus hand, what sometimes is called claw hand, it seems that all fingers are affected, which is different than the ulnar claw hand that occurs from a low ulnar nerve injury where only the fourth and fifth fingers are affected. In the intrinsic minus hand, the claw hand, you're going to also see there is a hyperextension of the MCP joint with the PIP joint and the DIP joint flexed. And that's caused by the imbalance between the strong extrinsics and the weak intrinsics. So the strong extensor digitorum communis will cause hyperextension of the MCP joint. And the strong flexor digitorum profundus and superficialis will lead to unopposed flexion of the PIP and DIP joints. The claw hand or the intrinsic minus hand can be caused by Volkmann's ischemic contracture, by neglected compartment syndrome of the hand, by Charcot-Marie tooth disease, by leprosy, or failure to splint the hand in an intrinsic plus position following a crush injury. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.